Hi, and welcome to Cancer Straight Talk. I am Dr. Lisa Schwartz, and today I'm going to talk about whether or not you should get a second opinion regarding your cancer diagnosis and treatment. First of all, let's talk about what a second opinion is. A second opinion usually involves a consultation with another doctor who has expertise in cancer treatment. This usually means a practicing oncologist. And while your family physician, relatives, neighbors, all have varying levels of experience with cancer, consulting with them does not constitute a second opinion. You may, of course, value their opinions and suggestions, but that's not a second opinion. So if your treatment involves more than one type of therapy, for example, chemotherapy and surgery, you may want to see both a surgeon and a medical oncologist for a second opinion. The doctor you choose for a second opinion may or may not be well known in his field, but you should probably look for a doctor who's not in the same group practice as your original oncologist. Keep in mind that a second opinion doesn't mean that you have to switch doctors. In fact, after a second opinion, many patients get treatment from their original doctor, especially if the second opinion is in agreement with the first. Cancer is complicated. <laughs> Usually there are so many treatment options that it's almost always reasonable to get a second opinion. Now, that doesn't mean that you have to, <laughs> but it's a reasonable thing to do if you want one. There are certain situations, though, in which a second opinion may be particularly valuable. If you have a rare or even just an uncommon cancer, get a second opinion if you can. In fact, you should ask your doctor to refer you to someone who has some experience with your rare cancer. This may mean travel for you. It may mean a visit to an academic teaching hospital. If you're not able to see the second opinion doctor in person, your doctor may be able to discuss your case with the expert by phone. Now, some academic centers will even open up their tumor boards to doctors in the community who have difficult cases. A tumor board is just a meeting of um, cancer doctors of different specialties, such as medical oncologists, surgeons, radiation oncologists, pathologists, and radiologists, who all get together and talk about difficult or interesting cases. And usually a recommendation about treatment results from this meeting. Next, if you're dealing with a childhood or a pediatric cancer, you probably should get a second opinion at an academic medical center. Pediatric cancers are not common and are almost always treated at academic medical centers where there are physicians with expertise and experience in treating pediatric malignancies. In addition, many pediatric cancers are treated on a clinical trial, which tend to be only available for children at academic medical centers. And this participation by children in clinical trials has led to dramatic improvements in survival from childhood cancers over the years. Now, many adults may want to participate in a clinical trial as well, and a clinical trial may be available for your particular cancer. These can be done in community oncology practices or in academic centers. Clinical trials help us determine the most effective treatments for a particular cancer. And often a new drug or procedure is tested against the existing standard of care. Now, many community oncologists have access to clinical trials. If you're interested in participating in a research study, you should ask your doctor if there are any trials for which you qualify. There may be a clinical trial open at a different treatment facility that your doctor doesn't have access to. And in this situation, you could ask your doctor for a referral to that other facility. Then you'll be evaluated there and make sure you're eligible for the trial. It's up to you to decide whether or not you want to enroll. Another reason to seek a second opinion is if there's a new treatment for your cancer which is not available from your doctor. Usually this involves new technology or training. For example, robotic surgery is becoming more popular as a treatment for prostate cancer and abdominal tumors. Your doctor's hospital may not own the equipment or the robot to do the surgery. And you may therefore choose to seek out a facility where this is offered. So I'm a radiation oncologist and there may be very specialized types of radiation that your facility does not offer. 
Another technology is breast brachytherapy, which is a type of radiation therapy, and it's not available at every hospital. So if you want to investigate a new technology that is not available from your doctor, you may want to get a second opinion from a doctor who does have the technology in which you're interested. So lastly, if you ask your oncologist whether or not you need a second opinion, and he or she gets defensive, <laughs> then you should probably get a second opinion. You know, unless you have a very routine cancer. An oncologist who is comfortable that he is recommending the standard of care should have no reason to discourage you from seeking a second opinion. Certainly, if you have a very common cancer and your oncologist has ample experience treating that, a second opinion is not necessary. But you can still get one just because you want one. And patients are often concerned about hurting their doctor's feelings if they want a second opinion, or even if they choose to switch doctors. You know, this is when your care and your best interest should truly be the top priority. The most important aspect of your treatment is that you have confidence in your treatment team. It's vital that your doctors communicate with one another and with you. So I certainly hope that this has been helpful for you. Um, I hope that you can leave a comment below if you have any additional questions. Click the like button if you enjoyed this and so it'll get shared more on social media. And if you're watching this anywhere other than my blog, please go to cancerstraighttalk.com and sign up for further posts and updates. Take care and be well.